everyone, I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while but we're back and today I will be doing my May and June wrap up for 2021. I read a grand total of nine books uh, during the months of May and June. The reason that I am doing this together is because in May I only read one book and then I read eight further ones in June. So I just thought, let's group them all together into one video. Let's get started. The first book I read it was in May and that was uh, The Blue Book of Nebo by Manon Stefan Ross. Um, this is a YA crossover novel. It's quite short um, and this has won so many awards uh, in its original language, which is Welsh. Um, and Firefly will be publishing it in January um, and it's been adapted into English by the author so I got to read it early which I'm really excited about um, and this is about Dylan and his mum who have kind of survived the apocalypse um, and it's about them surviving and especially about you know kind of figuring out that now that Dylan is a teenager it becomes a whole, you know, he's becoming his own person and so it's kind of about the struggle between mother and son, um, you know, in this really harsh environment when where they have to, you know, plant their own food and, and survive when there's no other people around. It's super atmospheric um, and it is quite short, so yeah, I would definitely recommend you check that one out. But, you know, as I've said before, this is a Firefly title so I won't be given any stars because, well, I will be inherently biased now, won't I? The second book for this wrap up and the first book I read in June was Grow by Luke Palmer. Uh, this is a debut novel, again, Firefly Press. Um, I had the pleasure of working on this book with uh, Luke. To be very honest, this is a tough one to get through, okay? It is fantastic, in my opinion, but um, it deals with teenage radicalization of white, um, mostly boys here in the UK. Um, it does not pull any punches, it is very gritty and is very brutal and real. Um, so this is about um, Josh and he, a couple of years ago, he's lost his father to a terrorist bombing attack um, and he hasn't really figured out how to deal with that grief um, and then kind of near this, the start of the story he gets targeted uh, by the violent leader of this uh, white supremacist group in his area and it kind of is about him sliding into that world n and being groomed and not really knowing how to resist kind of the people that are working on him um, so it is a really kind of this is not going to be your light read okay you are not going to pick this, uh, this up for fun um, well I didn't anyway um, it's, it's quite sickening at times but I do think it's really important and as Luke has said before is that it's important that as white people we open this conversation and we start this conversation. I think this book is a really good way of doing it. Also I love the fluorescent like finish on it. It is absolutely, yeah it is fluorescent. So yeah, Bro by Luke Palmer. The next book I read in June was Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman and then I also read... I mean, I also read volumes two, three, and four. So I read the entire Heartstopper series that is available in the bookshops so far. I think I gave all of these five stars. It is a delight, okay? It is lovely and funny and heartbreaking and sad and happy and it has this beautiful cocktail, um, you know, of, of every single emotion you could wish for. Um, this is about Nick and Charlie. Um, you know, as the cover says, boy meets boy and boys falls for a boy. Um, so it is, it is wonderful. I am really looking forward to the next one. If you haven't picked these graphic novels up, I highly recommend it. So next up, I read Little Horror by Daniel Peake. This is a middle grade adventure caper. Um, it is a comedy um, and it is about Rita, who's two years old and um, she is on the run because there's a crazy evil genius after her in an ice cream van and so it's kind of the fugitive if Harrison Ford was like really 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 young and in pampas and had to hide out in like a soft play center or you know dive through cat flaps to escape um and it is as bonkers as that sounds really it's just full of like mayhem and hijinks and I really enjoyed it it's out with Firefly um at the end of September so yeah you better look forward to that and then the next one I also read, and I know that some of you might be jealous of me, 
I'm really sorry, but I will be working on this book next year and I'm really excited for it. And that is Libby and the Parisian Puzzle by Joe Clark. <sighs> this is just a cozy, feel-good international mystery. That's that's all you need to know. Um, it's about Libby and um, she's always been with her mum, but her mum, for some reason, can't take her with her for work now. And so she joins her Aunt Agatha's fantastic travelling school when they're uh, in Paris for a semester. All of a sudden then, Aunt Agatha gets arrested for this daring jewellery robbery and, and Libby's like, well, that's not correct. So her, Libby and her friend Connie have to kind of figure out how to save her aunt before it's too late. This is really charming. I really love... I love Joe's writing. I think it's just perfect for that kind of early middle grade kind of um, age range. It is really fun and really, yeah, it's just so fun and charming. And I just want to go to Paris and eat lots of croissants and lots of macarons, so yeah. And then finally, this was not the last book that I read in June, but as I kind of put half of it all together, this is going to be the last one that I'm going to be talking about today. The light keeps changing because it is very spotty, like rain sun, rain sun. So I'm really sorry the light is going to change throughout this video, but nothing I can do about that. And the last one I read was A Fall Off Story by Lo and Lee. I have made a full review video of this, which I would link up here somewhere. I really love this. I... I literally sped through this so much. And I think it's really interesting because usually I'm not that much of a contemporary reader, but I feel like I'm very much into the whole kind of romantic contemporary with a happy ending kind of thing like happy things are things that I'm very much uh, like enjoying at the moment um I do really like that this has multiple layers so it's not just a a Romeo and Juliet story um set in two different felt places which it is but there is more to the story than just that um so yeah if you're interested in this one I would highly recommend it it, it was a pretty quick read for me and yeah uh, check out my review so there you have it those were all the books I read in May and June plus three others that I read digitally um do let me know down below in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you would like to I've been really quite lucky with like everything I've been reading this year so far I have enjoyed practically everything. I'm also still reading lots of submissions for work. It's just annoying that I can't talk about it because I think some of the stories I got like, oh, they're so good. Um, but then I can't rave about them here really. And then I literally just talk to my colleagues and they just go, Karen, just calm down, okay? Um, <laughs> which is nowhere near as fun. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you know I do occasionally make videos as you may have noticed and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye!